Hello Dreamer. So ngayon, irarasyo na po natin yung ating uh, drill sa dress making. So uh, before that, uh, let us pray first, dear Lord, as we gather to begin this class today. We ask for your presence and guidance. We know that without you, we can do nothing. We ask that you open our minds and hearts to what we need to learn today. Help us to be attentive and respectful to each other. We pray for the ability to apply what we learn to our daily lives. We give you all the glory and honor. Amen. So again, um, we are going to rationalize our... Uh, dress making quiz uh the other day so so number one our first question is a machine that is run by foot which may also be converted so excuse po sa ingay po sa labas uh which may be converted to electric power machine is known as a hammer machine b high speed over ager c lux lock stitch machine and D over aging machine so tingnan po muna natin kung ano yung mga ito so yung lock stitch machine po uh, uh, yung hammer machine po natin uh, kung nakikita po ninyo dito uh, sandali lang po yung ating uh, pointer pin yung, kung nakikita niyo po yung dito from the word him siya po ay nag uh, siya po yung machine na specialized po siya for making hems sa ating uh, mga trousers po, dresses, skirts, and mga furnishings po. So, uh, yung ating hemmer machine po ay siya po yung mga gumagawa ng ating hem stitches. Iyan po, hem stitches. Yung high speed over machine po, uh, over ager, wala po tayo nito. Kasi po itong high speed over ager ay dalawa po yung kinds ng machine na pinag uh, uh, kinumbine po nila sa choice na ito po. Meron po tayong high speed lock stitch machine at meron po tayong over aging machine. So, pero wala po tayong high speed over ager. So, yung lock stitch naman ito yung karaniwang uh, machine na nakikita po natin sa ating mga bahay kung meron po yung mga mama ninyo o yung mga lula ninyo, ito po yung machine na karaniwan meron po tayo sa bahay. Kaya tinatawag din po ito na domestic sewing machine po. Yung ating lock stitch machine, ito po ay tinatawag din na domestic sewing machine at pwede siyang ma-convert into electric machine. Yan po yung sinasabi sa ating question. Yung over-aging machine naman po, kung titingnan po ninyo, yung sa mga pants po, sa mga trousers po natin, itong, yung mga, uh, yung sa mga edges po, meron po siyang parang, uh, ganyan, ganyan po, zigzag na pagkatahi, yan po ay gawa po yan ng ating over-aging machine. So, sa number one po, yung sagot po natin ay letter C, which is lock stitch machine, siya po yung nag, pwede natin ma-convert to electric power machine po. The number two, the mechanism that sets the sewing machine in motion, A, balance wheel, B, belt, C, feed dog, and C, stitch regulator. So, ano po yung stitch regulator? So, ito po yung ating stitch regulator. Ito po dito, kung nakikita po ninyo, meron po yan siyang number, halimbawa po, number 30, tapos may ganyan po siya. Tapos, 15, ganyan, tapos ganyan po. So, itong stitch regulator, ito po ang nag-re-regulate -re kung gaano po kalaki yung atin pong stitches. Uh, itong feed dog naman, ito po, nasulatan ko pala. Ito yung feed dog, yung feed dog po, yan po yung sa ilalim po ng ating freezer foot at sa kanidol po kung saan yan po yung nagpapatakbo po ng ating fabric while sewing po. Kaya po si tinatawag po siyang feeder. Kasi po siya yung nagfi-feed ng fabric sa ating needle para po tahiin po niya. Yung belt naman po, ito po, itong hawak po ng kamay, yung brown na yan, 
Yan yung tinatawag natin na belt. Nagkukunik po yan dito sa ating balance wheel sa, la, saka sa ating band wheel sa ilalim po. Ah, yung balance wheel naman, ito po yun, siya yung uh, mechanism na nagsiset in motion po ng ating sewing machine. So, sa number 2 po, number 2 po, yung sagot po natin is letter E, balance wheel. Balance wheel po yung nagsiset ng motion sa ating sewing machine. Then, number 3, the part of the sewing machine that controls the looseness and tightness of stitches. A, babin. B, thread guide. C, presser foot. And D, upper tension. So, yung ating babin, familiar naman po siguro tayo nito, ito yung ating babin. Yan. Yan po yung tinatawag natin na uh, babin. Yan po ay isa pong spindle or cylinder with or without flanges on which yarn, thread, wire, tip, or film is worn. So, uh, dito po, uh, nilalagyan po yan ng ating thread. Ito pong ating babin. Uh, nilalagay po yan sa ilalim po ng freezer foot kasi po dalawa po yung uh, sinulid po sa ating machine yung galing po sa needle saka yung sinulid po na galing po sa ating babin then letter B meron tayong tinatawang na thread guide so ano ba yung thread guide so yung thread guide ito po yun siya po from the word itself siya po yung nagagaid ng ating thread uh, to keep it in position po para hindi po siya uh, mapunta po sa ibang direksyon. <laughs> Then, letter C, we have the spreaser foot. Ito po si spreaser foot. Yan po. Sa ibabaw po siya ni uh, feeder dog. Siya po ay prinipress po yan. Uh, siya po yung nagpipress sa fabric po while uh, sewing po para po hindi po matanggal yung or hindi po matanggal yung fabric sa ating uh, feeder dog po. Ayun yung yun po yung function ng ating presser foot. So yung upper tension naman, ito yung upper tension. Ah, uh, dinadaan kasi yung sinuli dito iniikot po 'yan bago po 'yan uh, bago po mapunta yung sinuli dito sa thread guide, dinadaan po muna 'yan dito sa ating uh, tension. Uh, ito pong tension, ito po yung nagko-control po ng looseness and tightness ng ating stitches. Tanong, ma'am, bakit po kinokontrol po natin yung looseness and tightness ng ating uh, stitches po? Uh, ano pong mangyayari po kapag masyado pong tight yan? Kapag masyadong tight po yung ating thread, mapuputol po yan lalo na po pag makapal po yung tinatahi natin na fabric. So, para po sa question po natin sa number 3, na ano daw po yung nagko-control ng looseness and tightness ng ating stitches, yun po ay ang ating upper tension. So, number 4, the appropriate cutting tool used in cutting fabric. So, cutting tools naman tayo, letter E, trimming shears, B, pinking shears, C, dressmaker bent handle shears, or D, Button hole scissors. So, ano daw po yung appropriate cutting tool used in cutting fabrics? Ito po yung ating trimming shears. So, anong ginagamit ng trimming shears? Ito po siya ay ginagamit for trimmings. Yan po, from the word itself. For trimmings, clipping threads, and snipping slashes. Ito po ay may sukat na 3 to 4 inches long. Yung ating pinking shear naman, kung napapansin po ninyo sa picture, yung ano po niya, yung bleed po niya para po siyang may grove na parang yung sa sew uh, zigzag po yan uh, ginagamit po ito for, zig for zigzagging or scallop edge or for seam finishes um, yung dressmaker bent handle shear naman natin ito po ang ay gawa sa mga quality steels Uh, and hold a sharp cutting edge the blades po ng ating dressmaker bent handle shears ay nagmove easily and cut smoothly along the entire length and the points should come together shears have the 7 to 12 inches uh, yung, yung gunting po natin na ito ay meron po siyang 7 to 12 inches long and are satisfactory daw po siya sa most apparels ng ating fabric. So, that's why 
Uh, siya po yung tinatawag natin na appropriate cutting tools in cutting fabrics kasi appropriate po siya for almost different kinds of fabrics. So, uh, sa yung button holes naman, ito ay maliit na gunting ginagamit lang po paggawa ng mga uh, button holes, yung uh, mga holes po para po sa ating mga buttons. So, number four, we have letter C as our answer, drill maker bent handle shears. So, number five, a flexible tip with different type of measurement, essential for ticking body measurement. So, ano daw po yung ginagamit natin sa pagtitik ng body measurement? So, obviously, hindi po yan roller kasi hindi naman po ginagamit ang roller for body measurement, type of ticking body measurement. Hindi din po yan yardstick. Pero titingnan po natin kung ano sila. Yung roller po, ay meron po siyang 12 to 18 inches. Either clear or solid daw po yan. So, tandaan po natin yung 12 inches or 18 inches. Kasi, mahilig po, lagi ko pong sinasabi, mahilig po ang pre-RC sa detailed. So, yung tip measure naman po, yan po ay ating flexible measuring device in taking body measurement. So, itong tip measure ang ginagamit po natin sa pagkuha po natin ng body measurement at meron po siyang 150 centimeters and 60 inches on the other side. So, yung calibration po ng ating, uh, yung, yung, yung measurement po ng ating uh, tip measure is 150 centimeter from other side, dito po 150 centimeter, yung sa other side naman po ay meron siyang 60 inches. Then, yung yardstick, uh, ito yung uh, gawa sa smooth and shellac hardwood or metal. Para lang po siyang roller pero mas mahaba po siya. Used for marking hem lines and checking green lines when laying out the pattern. Itong hem gauge naman, ito po ay para po siyang roller pero meron po siyang sliding guide. Ito po, para po siyang ro ro roller lang naman po yan, parang roller. Pero, ang ikinaiba niya dito ay meron po siya yan, sliding guide. So, karaniwan na ginagamit itong ating hem gauge ay sa pagpagawa po ng, for example, yung mga plates sa ating uniform. Para po, pantay-pantay po yung laki ng ating plates, ginagamitan po yan ng ating hem gauge. Kasi meron din siyang tinatawag natin na sliding guide. So, nasisit natin yon kung gaano kalaki yung gusto natin gawin na plates at para po pantay-pantay po sila. Pero sa atin pong tanong na ito, yung sagot po natin ay letter B, tip measure. So, huwag nyo lang pansintin itong isa na B. Dalawa yung naano dito. So, let's so, Yung answer po natin is letter B, tip measure. Number 6. It is measures... 12 to 18 inches, di ba? Sinabi ko kanina, tandaan yung details. 12 to 18 inches and can be used for drawing straight lines and cut lines. So, yung 12 to 18 inches po, siya po si, um, bago po yan. So, yung ati pong, uh, ati pong mga chases, meron tayong yardstick, button hole scissor, roller, at fringe curve. So, hindi na natin ipapakita itong si yardstick sa kasi button hole scissor kasi naipakita na yan previously. Pero itong si friends curb, ganito po yan siya sa ating drawing. Kung nakikita po ninyo sa ating screen, yan po si friends curb. Ito po ay ginagamit sa mga ship na gaya po ng sa ating neck hole or arm hole pag nagagawa po tayo ng pattern. Yan po yung ginagamit natin na pang measure. Katulad lang din naman po itong uh, friends curve sa ating roller. Kaya lang po, curve lang po itong si friends curve. So, pero sa tanong na ito, yung 12 to 18 inches uh, na measurements, siya po ay si roller po. Sina nasa previous na po ito natin na slide. So, number 7. This is used to ship The deep of the neck hole and arm hole of the pattern. So, ito yung sa previous slide din natin. So, yung sagot po natin dito ay C, letter E, French curve. Number 8. This is also called domestic sewing machine. So, ito yung kanina sinabi ko na palagi natin nakikita sa mga bahay natin na gamit ng ating mga lula. 
Ito po ay letter E, lock stitch sewing machine. Letter B, double needle sewing machine, high speed sewing machine, or D, button holder machine. So, ano ba yung C, um, button holder machine? So, obviously, itong si button holder machine, siya po ay tagagawa po ng ating button holes. Then, ito pong si high speed sewing machine. Ito po ay tinatawag din siyang industrial sewing machine. Ito po ay ginagamit po sa mga pagbrika sa pagawaan po ng mga damit kasi po high, high speed po siya. Marami pong matatapos na tahi sa everyday sa kanya kasi nga po pang malakasan or pang maramihan po siya na gamit na machine. Uh, kung nakikita po ninyo yung mga uh, electric powered na mga machine, Parang ganito lang po yung ating uh, industrial sewing machine or high speed sewing machine. So yung no, double needle sewing machine naman po, obviously may dalawa po siyang needle. So saan po ginagamit yung double needle sewing machine? Siya po ay ginagamit uh, in construction of different kinds of clothing, especially, especially for the in seam, out seam, or side seam. Basta may dalawa pong uh, magkatabi na tahi, yan po ay ginagamitan po ng double needle sewing machine. Yung lock stitch po, siya po yung tinatawag natin na sewing, uh, domestic sewing machine po. Then, number nine. A small hard pitted cup worn for protection on the finger that pushes the needle in sewing. So, ito po yung lumabas last, last March 2023 na lit na uh, actual example yung number 9 natin na item. Ito daw po ay small hard pitted cup na ginagamit po natin sa ating mga fingers to protect our fingers pag nagtatahi po tayo from the needle. Letter A, thimble. Letter B, swing gauge. C, seam ripper. D, fabric. So, hindi ko na ipapakita itong fabric kasi alam naman natin kung anong fabric sa kayong sewing gauge kasi naipakita na yan previously. Yung ipapakita natin first is seam ripper. Saan ginagamit si seam rippers? Ito po ay specifically designed for ripping out stitches from seams either as a result of an error or during alteration. So, Kapag nagkakamali po tayo ng tahi, ito po si seam rippers ang ginagamit po natin ng pangtastas. Kung sa amin pa pangtastas, iwan ko kung sa Tagalog. Basta yung pangtastas, siya po yung mag, uh, magtatanggal ng mga maling, uh, mga errors natin po sa ating pagsusu or pagtatanggal po ng matahi. Itong timbol naman, ito po siya, para po siyang cup. Hard pitted cup. Yan, nilalagay po natin sa ating mga kamay to protect our fingers that pushes the needle in sewing. So, yung sagot po natin sa number 9 is letter A, thimble. So, number 10. This is used in reinforcing the opening and closing of packets. Kinds ng machine naman po. Letter E, bar tacking mach bar tacking machine. B, embroidery machine. C, high speed lock machine. And D, sewing machine. So, Yung ano, yung uh, sewing machine, general, lahat naman na ito ay sewing machine. So, every sewing machine may specific name po sila, kaya hindi po natin isagot itong si sewing machine kasi very gener general po ito. Then, yung high speed lock machine, na present na po natin yan kanina, yung industrial machine po natin. Itong embroidery machine, obviously, panggawa po yan ng embroidered or mga borda. Kung nakikita po natin yung sa mga barong natin na mga borda, gawa po yan ng ating embroidery machine. So, yung bar tacking, bar tacking machine naman po, ito po siya ang machine na nagre-reinforce ng opening and closing of the packet. So, obviously, sa number 10, your, our answer is letter E, bar tacking machine. Number 11. What did you do with the big units and small units when preparing cut parts of the fabric? So, ano daw po yung ginagawa natin sa mga big cuts and small cuts when preparing cut parts of the fabrics? A. Separated B. Arranged C. Combined and D. Mix Obviously, hindi po na, natin yan mini-mix 
Kinukumbuhin po natin yan, but letter O na pag nagtatahi na po natin. But in preparing cards, let's see what we should do. Eh, key points in preparing cut parts of the garment. So, diretso na po tayo. So, sa number 2, basahin po natin. Separate the big parts from the, uh, the big units from the small units. So, number 11, our answer is letter E. Separate the big units and small units when preparing cut parts of the fabric. So, number 12. Uh, this measurement is taken from the top of the body figure to its base. So, ito daw ay ang measurement na kinukuha natin from the top of the body figure to its base. So, ano ba yun? So, parts of the body to be measured can be taken in horizontal. Pag sinasabi natin horizontal, siya po ay left of the figure to the right. So, pag horizontal, left to the right. Ganyan po. Pag vertical po, from the top of the body to its base. Pag vertical po, yan, from the top to its base. Yan, vertical. Pag circumferential naman po, around the body po. Yan, so number 12, ang sagot po natin is letter B. From the top of the body, vertical measurement. Number 13. Which is the correct way of placing the pin when pinning cut parts of a garment? A. Equal. B. Perpendicular. C. Horizontal. And D. Vertical. So, tingnan natin. So, number two. Techniques in pinning cut parts of the garment. Number two. Place pins perpendicular to the edges of the fabric. So, number 13. Our answer is letter B. Perpendicular. Number 14, this kind of measurement is taken around the body. So, around the body, we have around letter B, circumferential. So, ayan po. So, number 3, circumferential measurement is taken around the body. Number 15, a 60 long tip with metal tips made of a material that will not stretch. A. Yardstick, B, roller, C, tip measure, and D, T square. So, let's do the elimination. So, number, letter D, hindi pwede yan kasi si T square, ginagamit po yan sa drafting. Yan po. Sa technical drawing po, ginagamit si T square. Hindi naman po pwede si letter B kasi 12 to 18 inches lamang po si, si roller. So, yung, ano, yung sagot po natin sa letter, uh, sa number 15 is letter C, tip measure. Siya po ay may 60 inches long tip with metal tips made material that will not stretch. So, number 16. It measures around the torso directly under the bust line. So, sa, pag may measure naman po tayo, pag titake naman tayo ng body measurement. So, nag may measure daw yan. From around the torso, yan, close natin, under the bust line. So, pag under siya, uh, tingnan natin, meron na tayong under yan. So, meron na tayong close kung ano answer natin, pero uh, tingnan po natin yung kanyang definition po. So, pag sinabi po nating bust, ito po yung, dito po, sa fullest part ng ating breast, Yan po ang minimeasure pag sinasabi po nating bust. Pag sinabi namang natin na uh, bust to bust, ito po yung from nipple to nipple, minimeasure po natin yan sila. Yan po yung tinatawag, tinatawag natin na bust to bust. Yung waist naman po, ito po yan. Yung waist po natin ay dito po sa banda dito. Measure around the waist at the narrow, narrow waist natural waist point allowing two fingers between your waist and the tip measure. So, pag nagme-measure na po tayo na sa ating waistline, dapat po uh, nilalagay natin yung two finger natin between sa waist saka sa ating uh, tip measure for allowances po. So, yung sagot po natin dito is letter C. Kasi sabi niya, under the bust line. So, dito yung bust line natin. So, under dito, yan po yung tinatawag natin na lower bust. Measure around 
the torso directly under the bust line. So, verbatim yan sa ating question. Number 17. It measure from under the arm, start at the armpit to the wrist. So, i-measure na po yan under sa ating arm, under the arm, from the armpit to the wrist. So, hindi po yan hips kasi hindi naman dyan nag-measure ang hips. Hindi din po yan siya shoulder kasi hindi naman ang shoulder under the arm. So, pwede siyang armpit, pwede din siyang underarm. So, yung armpit, wala naman tayong minimeasure na tinatawag na armpit. Kasi hindi naman po yan minimeasure. Yung minimeasure po natin dito sa armpit ay yung sleeve hole. Sleeve hole po natin yung ating minimeasure dyan. So, yung sagot po natin dito is letter... Uh, Letter C, which is underarm. Kasi sabi dito, underarm measure from under the arm, start the, at the armpit to the rest. So, yung hips naman po, siya po ay minimeasure natin uh, to the fullest part of your hips. So, as a guide, this is open 20 cm from your natural waistline. So, itong hips, 20 meters lower siya from our waistline. So, number 17, letter C. 18. Mission around the shoulder under the armpit. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, hindi yan bust. Kasi pag bust, uh, sa my breast natin yan, pag waist, sa waistline, then ano ba yung torso? So, tingnan natin yung torso is the main part of the body that contains the chest, the abdomen, pelvis, and back. Most of the body organs and the backbone are found in the torso. This is also called the trunk. So, hindi naman yung trunk yung minimeasure natin under the armpit. So, yung tamang sagot dito is ang sleeve hole. Measure around the shoulder under the armpit. So, number 18, letter A. 19. The measurement is taken from the left. Of the figure to the right. So, nasabi na to kanina. So, diretso tayo sa sagot. Yung tamang sagot po natin is letter B, horizontal. 20. Circumferential measurement is taken around the body. True or false? It is true. Circumferential around the body. So, 21. The system where the unit of measurement is centimeter. So, yung may system of measurement daw na meron siyang unit na centimeter. Yung dalawa lang naman dito ang pagpipilian natin, ang metric sa ka-English. Yung English ay meron siyang inches. Inches yung sa ating uh, English system. So, from the word metric, yung ating metric system meron siyang unit of measurement na centimeter. So, yung tawang sagot po natin dito is letter E, metric system. Kasi yung Ating SI measurement system, siya po yung international system of units or tinatawag natin na international standard for measurement. Then, number, yung decimal system naman, siya yung magdi-denote sa ating teenager and non-integer numbers. So, number 22, it measures across the back of the neck from the socket of one shoulder to the socket of another soul shoulder da. Ito daw po ay measurement natin na tinitikin natin from one socket of the shoulder. So, ito halimbawa yung shoulder, tao yan. Uh, tao yan siya. So, dito from socket of the shoulder to other socket of the shoulder, ano daw po yung tawag natin dyan? Yan. So, A, shoulder. B, shoulder to shoulder. B, uh, shoulder to knee. And C, uh, shoulder to back. So, tingnan po natin. Sabi dito, pag uh, down center back or shoulder to back, siya po ay nagmimeasure from the nape, dito po yung ating nape, yan, nape of the neck to the natural waistline. So, sa pa, pababa po siya, vertical po yung measurement sa kanya. So, hindi siya sakit to sakit ng ating shoulder kasi dito lang naman yung sakit natin. Yung pinaka-join sa ating shoulder, yan yung sakit. Yung shoulder to neck naman, yung minimeasure po natin halimbawa, dito yung ating neck, yan, minimeasure natin yan galing sa ating socket. Yan. Shoulder to neck, yan yung ating uh, minimeasure. 
Pero pag shoulder to shoulder, sakit to sakit po yan. Dito po yan siya, minimeasure po natin. So, tingnan po natin, shoulder to shoulder, measure across the back of the neck from, from the socket of one shoulder to socket of another shoulder. So, 22, our answer is letter B, shoulder to shoulder. 23. Measure around your body crossing the fullest part of your body. So, sinabi ko na to kanina. So, diretso tayo. Letter B yung sagot natin. Pag fullest part of our bust, minimeasure po natin ang ating bust. So, yung armhole, yan po yung two openings in the garment through which the wear wearer puts their arm. So, again, 23 letter B. 24. So, Repeat question po ito. So, hindi ko binago kasi sa PRC lagi pong nangyayari na may repeat question po sila. So, again, the 60 long tip. One side has inches. One side is metric with, with crotch piece or without crotch piece. So, ito po ay tinatawag po natin na uh, tip measure. Pero pinakita ko po dito kung ano yung ating Taylor square. Yung Taylor square or L square po, siya po yung ginagamit natin kapag po nag-transfer po tayo ng ating, ng ating pattern. So, hindi ko na pinakita yung uh, dressmaker rollers saka yung meter stick kaya, kasi napakita ko na yan sila kanina. So, again, 24 letter C. 25. What is the shape of table is used when placing parts of the garments? A. Flat. B, oval, C, round, letter D, square. So, tingnan po natin sa ating source. So, key points in preparing cut parts of garments. So, number 3, diretso tayo sa answer. Place the cut parts flat on the table. So, let, 25, letter E po yung ating sagot. Then, number 26. An electronic device used for speed computation. So, letter E, computer. B. Calculator C. Cell phone and letter D. Camera So, yung naririnig po ninyong ano, sa curfew po yun So, pasensya na po So, again, so 26, an electronic device used for speed computation So, letter E. Computer B. Calculator C. Cell phone Letter D. Camera So, eliminate na po agad natin yung camera kasi hindi naman po yan ginagamit for computation So, yung cellphone, calculator, at computer, meron po yan silang, pwede silang gamitin sa computation. Pero, yung computer and cellphone, may mga specific po sila na mga uh, function po talaga. Pa, parang add-ons na lang po sa kanila yung uh, calculator po natin dyan. Pero, yung calculator po, siya yun talaga yung pinaka-basic function niya po ay to compute. Kaya po ito po yung pinaka the best answer natin. So number 26 letter B po tayo. An electronic device used for speed computation is letter B calculator. Kasi po yung sa uh, computer po uh, lalo na pag sa spreadsheet nilalagyan mo pa yan ng formula bago siya uh, bago niya kinocompute. Uh, number 27. The amount paid or charged for something That is acquired. So, ano daw po yung uh, tawag sa uh, yung amount paid na chinacharge sa binili nating bagay? Letter E, cost, B, computation, C, payment, and D, total cost. Tingnan po natin. Yung payment po, siya po yung process na nagbabayad po tayo sa ating uh, binili. Yan po yung payment. Pero po yung uh, computation po, ito po yung action or ma of mathematical calculation. Kapag po nagko-compute ka, yun po yung tinatawag na computation. Samantala, yung cost naman po, yan po yung amount paid or charged for something that is acquired. Verbatim po siya sa ating question. Hindi po natin pwede isagot yung total cost kasi po pag total cost, la pang kalahatan na po yun. So, yung the best answer po natin is letter A, cost. Number 28. A change of figures like changing from centimeter to inches. So, pag nag-change tayo ng figure, 
From centimeter to inches, ano po yung atawag doon? Letter E, calculate. B, converted. C, conversion. And D, computation. So, yung converted po, yun yung po, yung na-convert na. Past tense na po kasi to. Yung converted na, yung tapos na nating na-convert. So, pag halimbawa, centimeters to inches, yung inches, siya na po yung converted. Yung calculate po, siya yun yung process po ng ating... Uh, pag uh, pagkakalculate uh, pagkakalculate para din po siyang computation so yung tamang sagot po natin sa 28 is letter C po conversion then ito po yung conversion po natin how many centimeters are there in 1 inch so mag, ilang centimeters daw po ba ang isang inches so yung inches natin is 1.905 centimeters B, 2.54 centimeters, C, 3.81 centimeters, and D, uh, 5.8 centimeters. So, tingnan po natin. Ito po yung ating uh, uh, roller, for example. So, yung isang side, meron po siyang uh, inches, and yung isang side naman po, meron siyang uh, centimeters. So, sinabi dito yung 1 centimeter daw po, is equal to 0 0.3937 inches. Oh, 3937 po yan. Merong, ang 1 cm daw po ay equal siya sa 0.3937 inches. So, yung 1 inch naman daw po, 1 inch, Ayan, 1 po yan. Hmm. Is equal daw po siya sa 2.54 cm. So, yung tamang sagot po natin sa 29 is letter B. 2.54 cm. So, another conversion po tayo. How many yards are there in 4 points? 5.72 meters. So, letter E, 2, B, 3, C, 4, and D, 5 yards. So, tingnan po natin sa ating conversion table. So, yung hinahanap po natin is um, meters to yards. Meter to yards. So, tingnan po natin yung 4.57. So, ito po siya. So, yung point four. Uh, uh, ito po siya dito Yung point uh, 4.57 Hindi po pala ito Ito po siya sa baba Yung 4.57 Ay equivalent po siya Sa ating 5 yards So yung ating sagot po dito Sa number 30 is letter D 5 yards So kung i-compute po natin yan 5 uh, Equals uh, one uh, point one point one natin na ano na yards is equals to point nine zero zero nine one na meters. So pag yung five uh, yung yung four point four point five seven Pag i-divide po natin yan sa point 091, ang sagot po niyan is 5. Yan. So, kaya yung ano natin is 5 yards. the number 31. It is the placing relationship of all parts of the object with one another. So, Letter E, balance, B, emphasis, letter C, uh, rhythm, and letter D, harmony. So, tingnan po natin yung pleasing relationship of all parts. So, pag ma yung maganda tingnan daw na relationship ng lahat ng parts ng isang object. So, let us see what is harmony. So, yung harmony daw po is visually satisfying effect of combining similar or related elements. So, Yan po siya, oh. 
hindi po siya uh, similar po sila kasi pareho po silang circle circle diyan oh circle um, circle isla yan similar lang po sila kasi hindi po yung yung uh, sa loob po nila is different object po meron po dito circle leaves saka square pero kung titingnan po yan sila para po silang pinagkaisa kaya meron po silang harmonious relationship kaya tinatawag po sila na harmony then itong si rhythm naman ang tandaan lang po natin sa rhythm is to po siya ay movement yan lang po yung pinaka main, main na tandaan po natin sa rhythm yung movement so wala namang sinabing movement sa ating question so ito namang emphasis ito po yung ating apple of the eye ito yung ating center of attention kung titingnan niyo po sa drawing meron siyang anim na uh, circle pero yung panglima ito siya po yung naiiba mas bigger po siya sa kaiba yung kulay niya kaya po siya ang focus ng ating attention kasi po naiiba siya kaya siya tinawag natin na emphasis na emphasize po kasi siya so itong balance naman po kung titingnan niyo po, ito po ay distribution of the visual weight, yan, of object, colors, texture, on space. So, pag nakikita po ninyo, ito, itong picture na pinakita po dito, ay in, in formal balance po siya. O, kahit na po dito, mas marami yung stones dito na side, pero dito yung dalawa lang, pero balance pa rin po siya, pag dyan, at saka mag, kahit po magkaiba po sila, maganda po siyang tingnan. Kasi balance po siya. Yun po yung tinatawag natin pleasing relationship. Kahit po magkaiba po sila, maganda po silang tingnan. So number 31, ang sagot po natin is letter A, balance. So number 32, it can be described as having equal weight. So ito din yung kanina, similar siya. On equal sides of a centrally placed like a seso. So, isa itong ori ng ating balance. So, letter E, informal balance. B, formal balance. C, gradation. And D, emphasis. So, yung emphasis, nasabi ko na kanina na yun yung center of attraction natin. Pero itong gradation, pag, from the words gradual, gradually po siya nagbabago. Diyan po. May, mas malaki-laki po dyan, then gradually po siya lumiliit dito sa bandang huli. Kaya po siya tinatawag na gradation. Yung formal balance, yung formal balance, kung titingnan nyo po ito, equal po siya in both, in both side from left or right, kung ano po yung kung ano po yung hitsura dito sa kaliwa ay sa right at sa sa left the same po yan from the center so equal weight po sila on equal sides yan po yung tinatawag natin na formal balance kaya po tinawag siyang formal balance kasi equal siya itong informal balance naman po kung titingnan ninyo sa picture uh, maganda po siyang tingnan balance po siya ito yung tinatawag na Uh, pleasing relationship kahit hindi po sila uh, magkapariho pero maganda po sila tingnan kung titingnan mo po dito sa right side butterfly po yan dito sa left side flower po siya pero together maganda po silang tingnan balance po sila yan po yung tinatawag natin na informal balance pero yung tanong natin dito is equal weight on equal sides po siya so ito yung ating formal balance. So, yung sagot po natin sa 32 is letter B formal balance. Yan po. Formal balance po. Then, 33. When the structure, decoration, and accessories are different, o yun na, sinabi na, different boots, both sides from the center of the design, it is called a informal balance. B, formal balance, C, gradation, and D, emphasis. So, yung ating sagot po dito ay informal balance. Diba yung sinabi ko na kanina, kahit na magkaiba po sila both sides uh, from the center, pero maganda po silang tingnan, they are called informal balance. Yan po yun.
Then, number 34. So, nakita ng answer. So, it refers to the relative size, ayan, relative size and skill of the various elements in the design. The issue is the relationship between objects, parts of a whole. So, ano ba yun? So, dito, sinabi sa proportion, so, nakita naman natin yung sagot, so, diretso na po tayo. Sabi dito, proportion refers to the relative size and skill of various elements in design. So, verbatim siya sa ating question. So, wag na natin patagalin pa. Yung ating sagot is letter C, proportion. Number 35. This is an easy way of balancing but such balance lends monotony to the dress. So, ito daw po ay isang uri ng pagbabalance na naglilend siya monotony to the dress. So, pinagkaisa niya po. So, letter E, informal balance. Letter B, formal balance. C, gradation. And D, emphasis. So, tingnan po natin. So, dito sinabi sa symmetrically or formal balance can be described as having equal weights or equal size or as uh, centrally placed like a seso. This is an easy way of bal balancing but such balance lends to monotony to the design. So, nandito na po yun. Siya po yung naglilend sa ating monotony to the dress. So, ang ating sagot sa number 35 ay formal balance. So, yan. So, mali pala yung ating na uh, ito po. Mali po yan. So, dapat po ito po ang ating sagot. Letter B. So, number 35, again po, ang tamang sagot po ay letter B, formal balance. Then, 36. It is the center of interest. So, sinabi ko na, pag siya yung center of attraction, apple of the eye, siya po si emphasis. Number 37, this is the smooth movement. Ayan na po si movement. Repeated again and again. Pag sinabing movement, wala na pong iba, siya po si Rhythm. Pag movement po, wala na pong ibang may movement, siya po si rhythm. Number 38. A kind of rhythm can also be created by radiated lines. So, ito lang naman po. Kapag may radiated lines, so, lahat naman ng ito, si radiation, ay itong si informal balance, itong dalawa sa balance po, yan sila na belong. Tapos yan po si emphasis, iba po yan. Ang sa rhythm lang naman po dito ay si radiation. Pero tingnan pa din po natin. Meron po tat yung tatlong ori ng rhythm. This is, these are the repetition of lines, colors, or accessories. Meron din po tayong radiation at meron po tayong radiation. So, yung rhythm that can also be created by radiated lines, ang uh, these lines are created by, uh, yan po si ating radiation. So, wala naman po ditong ibang uh, rhythm. Yan lang po naman po si radiation. Kaya po yung correct po natin answer dito ay si radiation. Kasi yung si informa, si E at saka B, belong yan sila sa balance. Ito, itong si D, emphasis po yan. At ito lamang po si letter C ang under sa ating rhythms. Then, 39. So, it means a relationship of different portion of a design. So, ano daw po yun? A, balance. B, emphasis. C, rhythm. And D, harmony. Ito daw po ang relationship. Ito, relationship of different portion. Yung iba't ibang, uh, kahit na iba't ibang ship po siya, pero may good relationship po sila. So, ano po yun? Sinabi ko po yun kanina. Ito po ang harmony. So, 39, letter D, harmony. 40. Eyes can move easily from one part to the other on the small lines created by gather. So, again, siya po si radiation. Nasabi na yan kanina. So, ayan. Ayan, si radiated lines. Uh, eyes can move easily from one part to the other part of the small lines created by gathers. So, itong si rhythm, hindi po natin yan pwede na isagot. Kasi itong si radiation, repetition, and radiation, parehas lang po naman sila under rhythm. 
So dito, problematic po ang ating um, choices kasi dalawa po yung ating uh, radiation. However, hindi ko po ito inulit kahit napansin ko po nung ginawa ko tong slides kasi nangyayari po ito sa, at, sa ating actual exam. So, uh, hindi ko po ito binago kasi gusto ko na yung mga first timer ma-aware po dito na yung mga ganitong errors uh, nakikita po natin to pwede natin ma-experience sa ating uh, ating actual late exam. So, dito, pwede natin isagot yung letter E, radiation naman pa, pa rin po yan. So, letter C, radiation pa rin po yan. Pwede kapag tayo lang ang mag-check. Pero sa pagdating sa let, hindi na po, hindi po natin alam kung saan po ba talaga dyan, your, yung E or C ba dyan yung sagot. Kasi hindi naman naglalabas ng keto correction yung ating PRC. So, Siguro palakasan na yan ang dasal kung anong tamang sagot dyan, E or C ba kaya. So, but number 40, yung tamang sagot po natin is radiation. So, dito pwede, it's either E or C. So, pag, pero pagdating sa let, ipagdasal na lang po natin yun. So, number 41, the upper part of the sewing machine head being driven by hand when starting the machine. So, ano daw po yung part ng ating machine head? na driven ng ating hands para po mapaandar po natin yung ating machine. So, let's see. So, itong, uh, itong ano, yung bandwell po natin, ito po yung bandwell po na sinasabi po natin. Yan, bandwell po yan. Uh, yan po ay ating bandwell. So, itong ating namang treadle, ito po ang ating treadle. Yan po. Yan, yan po ating treadle dyan na banda. Yan po yung tinatawag natin na trido. Ito namang ating stop motion screw. Ito po, dito makikita yan sa ating, andyan banda po yung ating uh, stop motion screw. Ito po ay nag-hinders, um, hinders moving when losing and starts. Then yung ating namang balance wheel, ito po yung ating balance wheel. Ito balance wheel naman din po yan, pero uh, mas klaro po dito sa isa. Itong balance wheel po, minumove po natin yan anti-clockwise or clockwise po para po mapaandar po natin yung ating uh, machine. So, yung sagot po natin sa 41 is letter E, balance wheel. So, ito. The, color, the, the control of sewing machine lies on the A, balance sheet. B, band well. C, fit. D, hand. Itong balance sheet po, wala po tayo nito sa ating sewing. Yung balance sheet po, nakikita po natin yan sa ating entrepreneurship. Uh, meron tayong balance wheel, pero wala tayong balance sheet. So, mali na po yan. So, number, letter B, meron tayong band wheel. Hindi naman ito yung nagkocontrol ng ating uh, machine. Tingnan po natin dito. So, note. The control of the sewing machine, yan lie on your feet not in your hand so learn to start and stop the sewing machine instantly at a given point using this control so yung nag nagko-control daw ng ating sewing machine naglalay po siya sa ating letter C feet number 42 C feet then number 43 the part of the sewing machine that controls the looseness and tightness of stitches is Letter D. Repeat question na po ito, kaya hindi ko na po ira-ratio. 43D. So, 44. A machine problem when there is incorrect size of needle or thread is, so, tingnan po natin. Ito po sila, yung E, B, C, D. Ito po siya ay mga machine problem. So, ano-ano po yung mga causes nila. So, yung fabric jams, cause po, ang cause po niya ay, yung needle po niya is masyado pong malaki. Nagja-jump po yung ating fabric because needle may be too big. Letter B, nag-break po yung ating needle because of these uh, causes. Improper threading, tight tension, thread, too coarse, needle blunt, sit incorrectly, pressure foot not properly adjusted or poor quality thread, seam may be too thick or heavy, babin kiss turn, or fabric is pulled forcibly, needle may be bent, or size of the needle or tension. And skip stitches naman, nangyayari po siya, 
because of bent needle, dull needle, or wrongly attached needle, and much size of needles or thread to the texture of the fabric, no enough pressure on the feet. Although sinabi na po dito na unmatched size of needles or threads siya, pero may dinagdag po kasi dito na to the texture of subject, uh, to the texture of fabric. So, unmatched lamang po yung size ng needle niya at thread dito po sa texture ng fabric. Pero yung isa po, ito pong seam packer, yung sabi po niya dito, ah, uh, Yung reason po ng seam packer, too long stitch length for the fabric, tension is too tight or size of the needle and thread do not match. So, mali po yung size talaga ng kanyang needle sa ka-thread. So, yung sagot, sinagot po natin dito sa number 44, mas specific po kasi siya, si letter C, seam packer. So, number 45. What is the process by which iron is raised and lowered on the fabric in so nakita niyo na on the fabric in a series of up and down so ano daw po yung tawag sa process kung saan nilo-lower natin at nire-raise natin yung ating iron on fabric so letter E ironing B pressing C sewing and D washing so sabi dito Pressing is the process by which the iron is raised and lowered on the fabric in a series of up and downs. So, yan na po yung ating sagot. So, number 45, letter B. So, nakita nyo naman. Number 46. The oil that lubricates the, and gives the machine longer life. So, ano daw yung oil na nag-lubricate sa ating machine? So, hindi natin pwede isagot yung BB oil. So, obviously, hindi yan. Kasi sa BB po yan ginagamit. Yung coconut oil, hindi naman po yan. Cooking oil po yan. Din yung crude oil, ito po yung sa mga, uh, sa automotive natin. Din yung ating ginagamit to lubricate our sewing machine is, sabi dito, clean, dito po, clean machine to fix these problems, use and use sewing machine oil. So, number 46 po, ang ginagamit po natin is machine oil. Then, number 47. So, may sagot na din po siya. Very good. <laughs> Why do we need to follow 13 cm interval of pain in your uh, fabric? So, yung sagot po niya, kinakailangan daw po natin i-follow yung 13 cm interval sa pagpipin natin ng ating fabric because too many pins on the cloth tend to wrinkle it. So, tingnan natin. So, techniques in pinning cut parts of the garment. So, number three, pin the fabric with an interval of 13 cm. Too many pins on the clothes tend to wrinkle it. So, yun na po yung ating sagot. So, 47, letter A. 48. The part of the sewing machine that should be avoided during the application of oil, of oil A, bobbin winder, B, rubbering, C, stitch regulator, and D, stop. So, diretso tayo sa ating ratio. So, sabi dito, do not put oil on needle, bobbin, presser foot, or plate as it will stain your fabric. So, sabi po dyan, huwag po nating lagyan yung needle, bobbin, presser foot, or plate. So, wala naman po dito mas pinakamalatit kung di yung letter E, bobbin winder. So, punta na po tayo sa ating number 49. 49. Sana yun. Hindi na siya nagmogo. So, 49. The cleaning material that maintains moving parts of a sewing machine in smooth operation. A. Absorbent cloth. B. Length brush. C. Lubricant. And D. Water. So, lahat naman ito ay cleaning material. Pero, saan po ba dito yung nag... Uh, nagpapa-smooth po sa pagpapara ng ating sewing machine. So, obviously, yung absorbent cloth, hindi naman po yan, pang tanggal yan ng alikang book. Yung lint brush, ganun din po yan. Yung lint brush, para po siyang, um, kung nakikita po yung makeup brush or kaya yung sa nail polish brush natin, uh, para po kung ganun lang yung lint brush natin. So, pang tanggal lang din po siya ng alikang book. Yung water naman, Hindi po yan PDH natin na although panlinis yan pero kasi yung ating sewing machine marami yang metal. 
Kapag ginagamitan po natin yan ng water, magkakaroon po siya ng, pwede po siya magkakalawang. So, yung pinaka the best dito, yung lubricant po ang ginagamit po natin to maintain the moving parts of a sewing smooth in smooth, the sewing machine in smooth operation. So, number 50, a good practice of cleaning and lubricating the sewing machine is A, every two weeks, B, once a week, C, once a month, or D, twice a week. So, tingnan po natin. Sabi dito, note, a sewing machine is an equipment that needs care and cleaning. Keep it dusted and lubricated at least once a week or more often if the machine is constant is in constant use. So, ang best practice po para mag-lubricate or mag-clean ng ating sewing machine is every once a week po. Yan po. So, number 51. Why pressing is important? A. It is just necessary for the easiness of assembling garments. B. It helps uh, to create and maintain the shape of the garment. Hindi ko pala nalagay yung uh, mic. So, number, letter C. It removes the shape of the garment. And D. It destroy the finished fabric. So again, number 51, why pressing is important. Yung sagot po natin is letter, sabi dito, correct pressing during garment construction is important because it helps create and maintain the shape of the garment. So yung sagot po natin is letter B. Number 51, letter B. 52, how to determine good uh, pressing? Letter E, press marks are shown. Uh, letter B, the original textures is maintained. C, fabric are fold over a stitching line. And D, crinkled are apart on smooth surface. So, yung sagot po natin dito is evidence of good pressing. Lerito tayo sa sagot, letter B. So, sabi dito sa number 1, the original textures of fabric is maintained. So, correct answer, 52, letter B. Number 53, which side of fabric is ironing best done? So, anong side ba ng ating fabric or ating mga damit ang the best na i-iron po natin? So, E, left, B, right, so C, wrong, and D, both right and wrong. So, diretso tayo sa pressing tips. Number, ah, dito po sa naka-highlight. Press on the wrong side whenever possible. So, dapat po sa wrong side po natin yung ating ina iron So, ano ba yung wrong side? Kapag binalagtad po natin yung damit, yun po yung ating wrong side. Uh, the best po siya kasi lalo na pag may pag-printed yung damit natin, uh, hindi po nasisira yung mga prints niya. So, 53 letter C. 54. Which is the best when ironing the fabric? So, ilan daw ba? Ang pinaka the best ano daw, uh, when ironing the fabric is e, dry. B, wet, C, moist, and D, heavy dryness. So, tingnan po natin dito. When clothes are, da are damp, creases are easier to iron. So, pagkapag damp daw po yung ating uh, clothes, so, mas madali daw po natin na tatanggal yung mga creases nito, yung mga pag, uh, yung pagka-crumpled ng ating uh, damit. So, think about it. When clothes are left to dry completely, you need to spray them with some water to dampen them before you start the ironing process. That said, it makes perfect sense that ironing clothes while damp makes it easier to remove creases. So, kung napapansin po ninyo, meron po tayong mga iron na meron po siyang lagayan ng water. So, the purpose of that water is to make the clothes moist po para po mas madali po nating mapatanggal yung ating, yung mga creases ng ating po mga uh, pinaplansya na damit. So, number 54 is answer letter C. Yung damp po is lightly wet po siya or moist. So, number 55. Which of the following is the be, uh, the first way to keep pieces together? So, ano daw po yung pinakauna ginag ginagawa natin para ma, uh, ma keep natin together yung mga pieces po na kinakat natin na mga uh, fabric. A. Backstitch. B. Pressing. C. Pinning. D. Sewing. Tingnan po natin. So, dito, sabi niya, pinning a garment together. So, pinning is the is a way to keep pieces together. So, ito na po. So, yung sagot po natin, number 55, is letter C, pinning. 
When pinning, line up the fabric edges and pin. Arrange the pin horizontally in relation to which way the fabric will fit into the machine. You don't want the machine needle to break on a straight pin and fly into your face. So, yun po sabi niya. So, again, number 55, letter C po, pinning. <coughs> Excuse. Then, number 56, any source of potential damage harm or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain condition at work is called e hazard so may sagot na b psychological and c rest and d chemical so pag potential source po siya ng damage or lahat po ng uh, sources uh, uh, bagay na pwede po siyang makapagbigay ng uh, uh, bad effect po sa, sa human or something siya po ay tinatawag natin na hazard so, yung hazard po, so sabi po dito, verbatim po siya sa ating question, is a source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain condition at work. So, let's proceed 57. So, inom lang po ito, big. So, number 57. The chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. It may also apply to situation with properly or equipment loss. A. Psychological. B. Rest. C. Ergonomics. And D. None of the above. So, yung sagot po natin is, tingnan natin rest. It is the chance or probability, so we're batting po siya sa ating question, that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. So, yung sagot po natin, 57, is letter B, rest. Then, 58, any substance, so, uh, any substance thou that can cause harm primarily to, pe to people, so, Eliminate na po natin yung substance kasi yung hinahanap nga po niya ay substance. So, hindi naman po, pag substance yung hinahanap, hindi naman po substance yung sagot. So, <coughs> excuse. Yung letter B po, hazard, ito po yung posit, uh, potential harm po, sabi na kanina. So, yung psychological naman po, hindi naman po yan substance. So, yung tamang sagot po nito, natin dito is letter C. Ah, uh, Hindi po yan. Hindi po siya substance but it is letter C. Chemical. Yan po yung ating tamang sagot sa 58 letter C. Again, 58 letter C. So, sabi dito, chemical, oh, chemical is a hazard. Chemical hazard is any substance that can cause harm primarily to people. So, verbatim po yan sa ating question. So, again, sa ating uh, question number 58, our answer is letter C, chemical. So, number 59. So, 59. It has recently been acknowledged in legislation as a workplace hazard. So, bago lang po siya na Acknowledge na isa na din po siyang workplace hazard. A. Rest. B. Ergonomics. So, C. Psychological. Or D. Chemical. So, tingnan po natin kung saan po dyan. So, pag sinabi natin chemicals, yan po siya ay tinatawag natin na uh, substance that can cause harm. So, ito po yan. Substance po yan si chemical. Pag sinabi po natin rest, ito yung... Uh, Ito po yung uh, potentiality na meron po yung tao na pwede po siyang madisgrasya. Yun po yung rest niya. So, yung ergonomics naman, yun po yung mga hazard na cause po siya. Halimbawa po yung uh, awkward body, ito, awkward body uh, mechanics or posture po niya, mga repetitive movements. Halimbawa, yung paglagi po siyang nakatayo o lagi po siyang nakayuko, yung na nagkukos po sa kanya ng uh, trauma or disorders, yun po yung tinatawag natin na organics. Yung psychological naman po, kung basahin po natin dito, sabi niya, psychological hazard has recently been acknowledged in legislation as a workplace hazard. So, 
Kaya po siguro na kapag uh, bago ka lang sa trabaho, pinapa-undergo ka ng uh, yung psychological test. Kasi nga po daw, yung psychological ay considered na po siya na workplace hazard. So kung mga tupakin po tayo, be careful po tayo na huwag natin ipakita sa ating workplace, baka po uh, uh, tawagin pa tayong uh, isang hazard, hazardous na person sa ating workplace. So, Again, sa 59, yung answer po natin ay letter C, psychological po. <clears throat> so, 60. Which of the following is an example of hazard? So, saan ba dito ang magkukost ng damage? Yung flower, hindi naman po yan. Nagkukost. Yung cake, hindi naman siya. Unless pag you eat too much, pwede ka magka-diabetes. Pero hindi naman po sinasabi, wag po natin baguhin yung question. So, uh, dito po sa number 60, yung pinaka the best answer lang naman po na nagkukost ng hazard is yung wheat floor. So, number 60, letter A. Number 61. It is a state that make one running state. So, ito lang po natin. Tandaan po natin to Make, nag, nag, mimik daw po siya ng isang running state. Then, take a back state. Meron na siya yan. To the beginning of the first state. So, those overlapping its running state. So, ito daw po, ito yung pinaka-importante uh, pinaka na dapat ninyong tandaan. Ito yung stage na nag -re resembles ng machine stitching and is used to strengthen a seam made by hand. So, ano daw po yung stage na ito? So, tingnan po natin. So, yung ating <coughs> outline state, ang dapat tandaan natin sa ating outline state, yan, ito po ay similar to back. Similar to back states but slanted po yan. Again, ang outline states, similar po siya sa back states but slanted. Itong running states naman, ito po ay nagpo-push point of needle in and out po. Pag sinabing in and out of fabric, pinupush mo yung needle in and out of the fabric, yan po ay tinatawag na running states. Pag busting naman po, uh, yan ba yan? Pag busting naman po, siya po yung pinaka, uh, siya yung tinatawag na temporary stitch. <laughs> Tinatanggal po, uh, nanatili lamang po itong busting stitch until na permanently stitch na po yung ating fabric. So, again, yung busting po, temporary lang po yan. Pag back stitch po, ito po yung tinatawag na nagmimik ka ng one running stitch, then nag babak stage ka. So, again, sa 61, itang answer natin po ay letter A, back stage. Number 62. It is a stage uh, that is used to hold a fabric, to hold fabric temporarily. Pag temporarily po, sinabi ko na yun po kanina, yung sagot po natin ay letter B, busting po. Letter B, busting. Pag temporarily, busting po agad tayo dyan. Then, number 63. To make this stitch push point of needle in and out, sinabi ko na rin po yan kanina, pag in and out po siya of the fabric, it is running stitch po. Pag in and out, running stitch. Number 64. This stitch is similar to back stitch. Pag similar siya sa back stitch, tapos slanted po siya, wala na pong iba kundi ang ating outline stitch. Then, yan, 64 outline stitch. 65. When you put your needle one fourth inch from the edge of the fabric, put the thread under the point of the needle and pull through, you are making what kind of stitch? A. Outline, B. Chain, C. Blanket, D. Cut. So, tingnan po natin dito. Pag sinabi po natin chain stitch, pag ganyan po, para po siyang kadina. Pag, kaya tinawag siya na chains kasi para po siyang kadena. Yan. Uh, ang chain state, you have to insert the needle in and out of the fabric. So, para po siyang, itong, uh, itong chain states po, itong chain states, para po siyang uh, running states. Uh, in and out po siya sa ating fabric. Itong cut stitch naman, siya po ay, ang ginagamit natin for flat finish next to the fabric such as seam binding on the hem so yung outline stitch naman po ito po yung nag verbatim sa ating question which is 
you need to put your needle in one port inch from the edge of the fabric put the thread under the point on the needle and pull through you then with this doing this you are making the outline stitch so number 65 um uh number 65 blankets stitch so sorry for this so yung outline pala yung yung katulad po ng ating box na slanted so hindi ko na siya na rush yung kasi na, na bagit na to kanina so again number 65 po nag verbatim po yung ating blanket yung ating blanket stitch sa number 65 letter C po yan blanket stitch number 65 again hindi po letter E kundi letter C po ang ating number 65 sorry for that then number 66 this is used for a flat finish next to the fabric so ito na yung clue natin yung uh, flat finish pag sinabi pong nating flat finish yung ating pong sagot ay catch stage so yan po verbatim din po yan sa ating uh, question number 67 when you insert the needle in and out of the fabric so yung katulad po ng running stage pag katulad po na siya ng running stage in and out Siya po ay si uh, chain stitch. So, verbatim din po yan sa ating source. Then, number 68, press directly over pins. Do you agree with the given statement? A, yes, you can directly press with iron over pins so that fabric will stay on its position. Or B, yes, there is no problem with pressing over pins. Or C, no. This scratches the iron and also leaves a mark on many fabrics. Letter D, no, the heat of the pin will melt. So, let's see from our source. So, sabi dito, pressing tips. So, dito po tayo sa pinakababa, diretso. So, do not press over pins. This scratches the iron and also leaves a mark on many fabrics. So, yung sagot po natin sa let, number 68 ay letter C. So, hindi po dapat ni press directly yung ating irons over the pins kasi po mag maglilive po yun ng scratches at marked on mini fabrics number 69 it means the brightness or the dullness of a color so yung ating choices is how intensity symmetry at saka asymmetrical so yung symmetry at asymmetrical sila po yung under sa ating balance Formal, formal or informal balance na sinasabi. So, hindi na, hindi na po yan uh, included sa ating choices which nag-focus sa color. So, yung, ano naman yung who? Yung, yung who, sabi niya, ito po yung purest form of color. So, kapag yung parang uh, uh, primary color natin, yung pinaka-pure lang, wala pa siyang halo, yan po yung tinatawag natin na who. Yung intensity naman po, siya yung tinatawag po natin na brightness or dullness of a color. So, yung sagot natin sa 69 is letter B. 69B, intensity po, brightness or dullness of a color. So, 17. Ay, 70. The primary color R. So, ano ba yung pinaka-primary natin na color? So, letter E, red, yellow, blue. So, B, red, blue, green. C, blue, green, yellow. And and D, yellow, red, green. So, itong si green, siya po ay product ng ating yellow, yellow plus blue na kulay. Pag, pag yung yellow at blue, hinalo po natin, ang magiging resulta po niyan ay si green. So, hindi po siya ang pwedeng tawagin na primary color kasi nagawa lang po siya out of two colors. So, ibig sabihin si green po ay secondary color na po siya. So, i-eliminate na po natin yung choices na meron green. So, may green, may green, at may green. So, yung na naiwan sa atin is a letter E, which is a red, yellow, and blue. Siya, sila po yung ating primary color. So, number 71. Which is used as good markers on neat laces and other loose materials. So, ano daw po ba? <coughs> Excuse. So, A, pins. B, busting. C, needles. And D, tiny pins. So, itong si busting, hindi na po yan pwede kasi isa yung ori ng stitches. So, wrong na po si busting. So, yung needle naman po, sila po itong pangtahi. So, hindi po pwede. So, tingnan po natin. Dito sa techniques in pinning 
uh, cut parts of the garment. So, dito sa pinakahuli, sinabi niya, tiny safety pins are good markers on knit laces and other loose materials which sheet pins quickly. So, yung pinaka the best answer po natin dito is pins. Pero pag, eh, tiny pins. Pero pag wala po si tiny pins, kaya hindi po nakita natin sa choices, pwede po si pins. Pero dahil meron po tayong specific na tiny pins, ito po yung pinaka the best answer po natin. So, so sa ating, let's proceed to number 72. So, 72. So, 72. What is the advice interval of pains in the fabric? So, sinabi na ito kanina. So, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, yung sabi, tama sagot po natin is letter D. Sabi niya, pin the fabric with an interval of 13 centimeter. Too many pins of the, on the cloth tend to wrinkle it. So, dapat po 13 centimeter lang po lang talaga yung interval ng paglalagay natin ng pins sa ating fabric. 73. How to determine good pressing? So, letter E, press marks are shown. B. The original texture is maintained. C. Fabric are fold over stitching line. Or D. Crinkled are appeared on smooth surface. So, tingnan natin sa ating source. So, evidence of good pressing. So, number one, the original textures of the fabric is maintained. So, nandito po yan sa ating choices. So, yung 73 natin, yung sagot po natin is letter B. So, the... In... To determine the good pressing, uh, yung choice po natin is the original texture is maintained. So, number 74. <clears throat> 74. Which of the following is an evidence of good pressing? So, uh, similar lang po sila na question. Kung balikan po natin yung 73, how to determine good pressing? Yung sa 74 natin naman, <clears throat> ano daw po yung evidence of good pressing? Iniba lang yung Iniba lang yung pagka-construct ng, ng question but the concept is the same. So, yung choices niya pa rin po ay A. Water, water spot marks are visible. B. Original textures of the fabric is maintained. C. Press marks you on adult texture fabric. Or D. Wrinkles appears on a smooth surface fabric. So, yung answer pa rin po natin dito is letter <coughs> letter B. So, the original texture of the fabric is maintained. 75. Which of the following statement are the tips in pressing? 1. Press over busting. 2. Sit iron on heel stand when not using. Then 3. Test iron temperature on a scrap of fabric. And 4. Unplug steam when you fill it with water. So, let's see. Dito sa ating source, yung pressing tips. So, let, let's find this press over busting kung meron po ba tayo. Press over busting. So, sabi dito, do not press over busting. So, wala na po itong si number 1. <clears throat> Kasi, hindi daw po dapat ipipress over busting. Pero yung sabi niya, press over busting. So, kaya hindi na po ito kasali. Yung number 2, sit iron on heel stand we not using. So, nandito po yan si number 2. Si number 3, test iron temperature on a scrap of a fabric. Nandito din po yan. Si number 4, unplug steam iron when you fill it. So, ang gagawin natin, lahat ng choices na may number 1, ikis na po yan. So, ito, hindi na po ito kasali si letter E kasi meron siyang si number 1. Ang problema dito, kasi lahat naman itong 2, 3, and 4, kasali yan sa uh, statement sa mga tips natin para po mag para po praise Pero, si letter B, C, and D, meron po siyang 2, 3, 4. Parehas po sila. Meron po silang 2, 3, 4 dito. So, ano ba yung pipiliin natin? Eh, hindi naman sinabi, ang sinabi lang naman kung saan sa kanila yung may statement na nagsasabi ng tips of pressing. So, meron naman po siya lahat. So, yung ginawa po natin dito, instead po na ito lang po ang isagot natin, 2, 3, 4, hinanap po natin kung saan po yung nauna. So, 
Itong si number 4, unplug the steam, siya po yung pinakauna dito. So, siya yung number 1. So, itong si number 3, test iron, uh, test iron on temperatures, siya po si number 3. Tapos, si seat iron po ang si number 2 natin. So, ang gagawin po natin, so yung pinili po natin na best answer is si letter D, which is si number 4, tapos si 2, tapos si 3. Kasi po, magkasunod po. Yan po yung pagkakasunod-sunod po nila. Kasi kung isasagot po natin ito sila, meron din po yan si letter D. So, yung ginawa po natin para po pinaka the best answer po tayo is si letter D po yung sinagot natin which is yung pagka uh, correct order po nila. So, um, huwag na po tayong magugulat kapag nakakita tayo ng mga question na ganito kasi Normal na po yan sa PRC. So, number 76. Uh, pressing and ironing are the same. Do you agree with the statement given? A. True. Pressing and ironing are the same. Totoo ba? Letter B. True because both pressing and ironing uses iron. So, pariho daw po silang gumagamit ng plancha. Letter C. No, pressing is the process of pressing up and down of iron in the fabric while ironing is a sliding motion of iron in the fabric. Or letter D, no, pressing might burn your dress and ironing is a sliding left to right and vice versa. So, yung tamang sagot po dito is a letter C. So, sinabi na po kanina na yung pagpipress ng ating uh, fabric ay up and down po siya tapos yung pag-iron is to slide po. The number 77. Roxanne prepare her fabric for sewing. She need to press the part of the collar for the better sewing result. How did she test the iron temperature before? So letter E. Ah, uh, sinabi dito na magtatahi daw po si Roxanne at para daw po ah uh, magawa niya ng mabuti yung collar, kailangan niya po uh, na i-press yung collar na part. So paano niya po i-test yung iron temperature? So letter E, touch the heated part of the iron. So hawakan ba ni Roxanne? Yung iron, letter B, touch the blanket uh, before starting. Then C, test the heat of the on a piece of fabric before pressing. Or D, just see to it that the dial of the iron is turned on. So, tingnan natin. Dito, sa so, temperature of the iron. Use the correct temperature for each type of fabric as indicated on the iron. So, di ba yung fabric natin, for halimbawa, ano siya, silk or cotton siya, may naka-indicate naman doon sa ating uh, iron kung ano po dapat na temperature yung isisit natin for intended fabric. Pero kapag hindi po, naka, wala pong ganun, sabi dito, if there is no temperature control on the iron, dapat po ititest natin ang heat on a piece of fabric before pressing. So, yung sagot po natin sa 77 is letter C, Test the heat on, the, on a piece of fabric before pressing. So again, 77 is letter C. 78. Which of the following is a technique in pinning? So, balik na din po to kanina. So, sabi niya, pin vertically. Vertical ba yung pagpipin? Then, pin the fabric together, all together. Then, have more than ba? More than 13 cm ba yung interval? Or please pin perpendicularly to the edges of fabric. So, yung tamang sagot po natin nito is letter D. 79. Which of the following is a piece of solid material used to fasten fabric? So, ano ba yung pinapasin natin sa ating fabric? So, hindi pwede yung hairpin kasi sa buhok po yan. Hindi po pwede yung needle kasi hindi natin alam kung ano ba ito sa, sa sirens ba ito na needle or sa sewing machine. Hindi po siya specific. So, meron po tayong sewing needle or pin. Pero yung pinakatamang sagot po dito natin is letter E, pin. Kasi yung sewing needles po, pang tahi na po yun. Then, number 80. How to avoid confusion in sewing? So, paano daw po natin maiiwasan ang malito sa pagtatahi? So, tingnan po natin sa ating source. So, sabi dito, Key points in preparing cut parts of garment. Direct support tayo sa number four. Label the units to avoid confusion when sewing. So yung sagot po natin sa number eighty is letter E. Ilalabil daw po natin yung units para po ma-avoid natin yung confusion in sewing po. So last number na po tayo number eighty one. 
So, which of the following are the points in preparing cut parts of the garment? So, ano daw po yung key points natin in preparing the parts of the garment, cut parts of the garment? So, so number one, use both hands to anchor work flat on the table or two separate big units from small units or place pins perpendicular to the edges of the fabric. Four, label the units to avoid confusion when sewing or five, to get the garment parts to be sewed first, place garments parts to be sewed first on the right side of sewing machine table for easy read. So, tingnan po natin. So, yung use both hands, dito din po siya sa number one. Yung number two din po natin, separate big units dito. So, number three. So, what, so si number three, hindi po siya natin makita sa... Uh, key points po natin in preparing cut parts of the garment. So, si number 4, nasa number 4 din siya at si number 5. Kasi itong si number 3, makikita po natin yan sa techniques in pinning the fabric. So, hindi po kasali si number 3. So, lahat po ng may number 3 dito sa ating choices ay atin na po yan iikis kasi hindi na po sila kasali. So, yung naiwan na lang po natin is si letter B which is our correct answer. So, letter B, 1, 2, 4, 5 po yung ating sagot. So, ayan, tapos na po yung pagrarasyo natin sa ating dress making na drill. So, intayin na lang po ninyo yung paglabas ng ating uh, question sa ICT at saka sa uh, computer hardware servicing. So, for now, maraming salamat po and bye-bye. Thank you.